Hi my love, how you doing? How you been? How you been? It's your girl Shayna Bella back at again with another reading for you. So I'm setting the attention that everybody who comes across my videos that it feels as though it's a personal reading just for you. So I'm not going to be saying like my collective and such like that. I'm going to be saying like you and your person because I'm speaking directly to you. So if it doesn't resonate it doesn't resonate this video is not for you so sorry however if it does resonate it should resonate like completely okay cool so we have three piles i'm using crystal bracelets as the piles um you can purchase these crystal bracelets on my website you can find that in the description box below the link to like the bracelets on my website the link to my bracelet a oh, little words <laughs> the link to my website where you can book personal readings purchase these crystals as well as these crystal bracelets as well as these crystal pyramids you can find that in the description box below check it out right now it's ordering it's available for pre-order and you'll be able to like oh um the orders will be shipped out in august but right now they're available for pre-order okay so the first pile is a rose quartz seven chocolate crystal bracelet okay so this one is mainly rose quartz and then it has um amethyst lapis lazuri um what the i don't remember this one green aventurine yellow aventurine red jasper and carnelian um for each chakra then we also have the rose quartz for pile two so rose quartz is for self-love self-worth self-confidence unconditional love and stuff like that and then we have the citrine bracelet which is for prosperity and success okay so um meditate on the piles for a few seconds or you can pick based off of what you want to attract into your life what you feel like you need the most what you just feel more drawn to so you know meditate on the piles for a few seconds and then i'll see you guys in your reading i'll see you in your reading excuse me Hold on, I just peeped that I never said what we're doing today. I mean, you can read the title, but I still feel like I have to say it in the video. Let me see. Hi. I look like a mess. Okay, yeah. So today we are doing how does your specific person currently feel about you? So set the intention that you are picking a pile that tells you how your person feels about you right now in this current moment. Okay, so meditate on that for a few seconds. And I'll see you guys in your bow. I'll see you in your bow. Okay, hi my love. So if you picked the Rose Quartz 7 Chocolate Bracelet, this is the reading for you. I'm going to put this around my Citrine Tower because, oh, I'm, my bad. I'm going to put it around my Cellulite Tower. Cellulite is really good for cleansing and charging other crystals, which is why I like to keep it around my crystals. Um, it also helps you connect with the higher realms. Rose Quartz helps connect you um, with your love your heart chakra helps attract in love in your life, unconditional love. It helps you give more love and kindness. Uh, it helps with self-confidence, self-love, self-worth. If you need to like practice more self-care and self-love, then I suggest you getting a rose quartz bracelet. Um, so that crystal, that bracelet will help with that those properties as well as aligning your chakras, since there is there are. Um, uh, crystals for each chakra if you want to go more in depth you can look on my website they will explain what each chakra is and what they each for as well as what each chakra point is for that's not really what this reading is about so I'm not going to go into it however each crystal does have a pop like have properties that will help align each one of your chakra points again you can find um, you can find more information on that on my website or you can just like google it but I made sure to put it on my website, so if case no one wants to Google it, you can just find it there. It's easier. Okay, so now let's get into it. Pile number one, my love. How does your person cur currently feel about you, Spirit? Can you please tap me into the energy of pile number one and let me know how, or let me feel how pile number one's person currently feels about them. I'm going to take this card since it's put that way. I'm not going to take reversals. I don't take reversals. However, I do take into account that there are reversals, if you get what I'm saying. So, like, two of pentacles came out in reverse. However, I'm going to leave it upright. Okay. How does pile number one person feel about 
with them. Okay, we'll take that. King of Wands. How does your person feel about you? How does your person feel about you? How does your person feel about you? How does your person feel about them? Um, I feel called to take that out. I'm sorry. I was really about to say the energy in this pile, like your energy and your person's energy, is phenomenal. And then that came out, which is why I was like, I feel called to take it out. And I feel called to take that out. Um, so we have six of wands and seven pen of pentacles as well. Um, I'm going to take this. Four of pentacles. Okay, now we're going to do clarifying cards. Clarify the two of pentacles, please. Clarify the two of pentacles, please. I usually don't even do things like that, but um, I don't know. When I feel called to do something, I just do it because um, there's a reason for it. Two of pentacles, please clarify the two of pentacles. Okay, so we have the page of wands. Okay, clarify the king of wands, please. Clarify the king of wands. So there's a lot of earth energy and a lot of fire energy. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo as well as Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. This could be fire, this can be sun, moon rising, and or Venus, okay? Um, how does, oh, how does this person's person feel about them? Okay, seven of wands, interesting. Hold on. Queen of wands to clarify the six of wands, okay. The moon to clarify the seven of pentacles okay and the four of pentacles is the star wow okay that was beautiful at the bottom of the deck is temperance however it was slightly reverse it was a reverse so i'm going to take that into account however i'm going to keep it upright i want this to be in frame okay so Let's get into it. Okay. I wanted to just be straight. This needs to be up more. So I just don't like it when things don't look right. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay. Okay, so we have the Two of Pentacles clarified by the Page of Wands, the King of Wands clarified by the Seven of Wands, the Six of Wands clarified by the Queen of Wands, Seven of Pentacles clarified by the Moon, and the Four of Pentacles clarified by the Star, and then we have Temperance at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. Um, okay, so there is so much fire, so you could be a fire sign, he can be a fire sign, um, or, you know, if this is a male watching, she can be a fire sign. You or your person can be a fire sign. Um, then there's also a lot of earth, um, earth energy. So you can be a water, you can be a fire sign, they can be a fire sign. Then we have Pisces with the moon and then Aquarius with the star. Okay. Um, so let's get into it. Ooh, I keep like putting my head in the frame, but that's cause I'm trying to see like, I'm trying to see the viewfinder so I can see like how I was looking. Yeah, okay. So Two of Pentacles, there, it, there was an imbalance. I don't know. Listen, I am reading intuitively. Don't tell me that that's not what the meaning of the card is. I don't care. I mean, I do care, but understand that this, when you're channeling, the cards are just there for visualization. You see what's on the card and then you read what you're picking up, the energy you're picking up. So don't tell me that's not what the card means. I know what the cards mean. Okay, thank you. I'm reading what I feel. Okay, so there was an imbalance in this relationship. Okay, as you can see, this does not look balanced, right? Somebody was giving more than the other. Um, somebody was being way, somebody was more passionate and like excited about this relationship than the other. At least somebody, at least somebody was showing you more than the other person, right? Um, with the King of Wands. That is somebody who is very passionate, very creative, and then the Seven of Wands is they was defensive. So I feel as though it was the King of Wands who was not, who was more so not giving as much as the Queen of Wands, right? 
the so this is this is the divine counterpart because we have king and queen okay and a very passionate relationship um six of wands is victory clarified by the queen of wands they see you as a trophy they see you as their wish fulfillment like they see you as like they when they got you they felt like they won right uh and then if you guys are in separation right now the when they lost you they felt as though they lost their prize not in like an offensive way like don't take offense to it but like in a sense of you was what they was looking they was working hard to get you they got you they was very excited and happy about it they lost you and they lost like they feel like they lost like the biggest prize they ever won that's like you winning um like the lady, like the girl who won the the beauty pageant the other day, like the other year, like Miss Universe or whatever, and then she ended up actually coming in second place or whatever. Yeah, it's like one of those moments. Um, Seven of Pentacles. So they was this something that like they was watering. Oh my gosh, go watch my reading on um, TikTok because what I was saying in that is that um, males, especially males. Why do I keep trying to see this? The King of Cups. Okay, that wanted to come out. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. So, and then the sun card is trying to peep through. Okay, so this person, they was probably insecure about their finances. So, they was put up the fence. didn't really want to let you in and, like, let you see, like, what was going on in the world and how they was feeling everything. You know, that people will always want to be the tough guy or whatever. Um, the Seven of Pentacles, so they kind of distanced themselves, put up that wall, to water the plants that they was trying to, um, you, you know, water the seeds that they planted. So they were trying to hide that from you. They were trying to hide, like, the difficulties they was going through and not really let you in for pentacles. But they didn't want to let you go because they were scared if you was to leave that you wouldn't come back. Okay? But they really wanted to be able to give you the lifestyle that they knew you deserved and, like, they really loved you. The star, like they literally saw you as a star. They like they was wishing on a star, literally for you, making sure that you didn't leave them, or even if like y'all went together, that you would wait for them. Or just gonna sound bad, but any relationship that you was in wouldn't really work out because they wanted you to be for them and like only them. The king of the knight of cups, though, that was really kind of peek through. Like they want to come in. And they want to offer you, like, their love and everything. Like, they want to express their feelings for you and let you know how they're feeling. And they want to be committed with you. Like, they want to let you know, like, how they feel, want to ask you out, want to make you, like, their girlfriend, boyfriend. Um, this, this, oh, that's the Fool card and the Justice card. Okay. So this is Libra energy. That's Libra energy. So the Fool card and the Justice card, um, coming out. And then because of the story, we have some air, some air energy. They want to, like, okay, like I said, they want to come in and, like, let you know how they're feeling and everything. They want to take that leap of faith with the full card and start a new beginning with you. Because they really do believe that you are their, like, the person for them. And they really, really hope and pray that you are for them. And they literally pray to, they pray for God for you. Like, they wish on a star, they pray to God, whatever they believe. Um, that's what they do because they want to be with you and they're scared that you don't feel the same way or that you're going to move on so then they don't know what else to do but to ask God for you to wait for them because they're scared to ask you to wait for them because they are scared that you will say no the snake they have to shed some layers of skin oh that sounds funny but, like, they had to do some involvement. They had to change the way that they were. There was probably some toxic traits that they had. Um, insecurities that they had to, like, go of. They had to evolve and become, like, the next version of themselves, the next level of themselves. Because they felt like they needed to elevate in order to be able to compliment you well. Okay, how does this person currently feel about you? How does this person feel about you? Stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Okay, so yeah, you guys are probably in separation. Um, and they're feeling that. Like, they're really feeling that. Lightning. And you saw the way that flipped out. Seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third-party interference. Yeah, so they probably think that you were other people. Um, and they probably see you going on dates, hooking up, like, 
I don't, I don't know about like hooking up with other people. Maybe you are. Maybe they think you are and they're scared that you're hooking up with other people. Because they see you with other people, they're a little scared that you moved on from them and that you don't really like care about them anymore. We have lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. So yeah, he's been working on, they've been working on transforming themselves and improving. They want to come in and change this, like change the dynamic of your relationship. They're probably going to come in with a surprise offer with the king, um, also with the knight of cups. Like they're going to come in with a, um, Surprise offer, not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation call, person, boundaries, still angry. Okay, so I don't know if you guys got in an argument about something. Um, I, mean, I think they're really hurt at the fact, like, they probably saw you out on dates and it really hurt them. Or they saw you with other people and it really hurt them, which kind of woke them up, um, which caused, caused their epiphany. Um, because they're like, oh my gosh, if I don't get my shit together, then they are going to leave me, like, because they're moving on. And you know, I always tell people, like, don't sit around waiting for people. Go live your life. Go talk to other people. Go, go on your dates. Because when they see you're not sitting around waiting for them, then that's when they're like, oh, my gosh, I got to get my shit together and hurry up and come in. But if they see you just sitting around waiting for them, they're going to be like, oh, that girl's mine or that guy's mine. I have no reason to actually move forward and do anything because they're just waiting for me. Talking, interested, conversing more, awaiting message, um, arise, text, call, email, hovering. Right, that's what I was saying. They want to come in. So, they're, they're, they have, they probably still have some limited beliefs that they have to get over. Like, they feel as though just because you're talking to somebody else doesn't mean, like, they feel like they, that you won't come in. Like, let me think of the words I want to say. That's probably what they're doing. They're like contemplating, which is why it's like not today. They're still trying to, LOL, snake is at the bottom of the deck. And I was saying that competition, enemy, LOL, malicious, luck over your shoulder, the other woman. Okay. So yeah, they're really, they're looking at the other person that you're messing with, uh, talking to as um, the enemy, as competition. They're like, okay, how can I, what can I come in with? To make my offer better than what this other person's offer is, right? So this is why I literally, I literally always say, "Do you, sweetie?" And that because you doing you is going to make that person need to work harder. They're gonna see that oh, you are desirable by other people. That's why whenever you get in a relationship, there's so many love offers that comes in as soon as you get cuffed because you love desirable now, right? You're working on yourself, you're focusing on yourself, and you're not worried about what this next person is doing. And we can like energies is a real thing. And before anything else, there is energy. So you can feel when you're feeling about, when somebody's feeling for you, and that person can feel when you're feeling for them. But then they also can feel when you pull away your energy and start focusing on yourself and other things and other people. So because you was doing that, they're like, how can I come in and give them an offer that they cannot resist? Right? So they're like sitting down and contemplating, but you're going to receive a message from this person very, very soon. Not today. <laughs> But very soon because they they've been hovering. They've probably been watching your social media, trying to see like what you like, what you're up to, which is how they know that you've been on other dates, um, and been talking to other people. Even if they had to make um, a fake profile, a fake profile in order to like keep tabs on you, they most definitely done that stuff. Five of want, five of cups is trying to peek through. So yeah, they're like um. They're like, did she really walk, or did he, did they really walk away from me? Like, they're like, did you really walk away from me? Like, did you really move on? Worth waiting for. Okay, so they think you're absolutely worth waiting for. And they was hoping that you would wait for them. But they didn't realize it was taking too long. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So they're trying to come in and offer you a new love. Um, they don't want it to be like how it used to be, which is why they need to take that space away, that time away. But they didn't realize that they was taking too long with their time away. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate is maybe different from your usual type and expectations. Um, I'm not really getting that. It's more so like keep an open mind about whether this person is going to come in or not. And again, don't really be too hung up on that person. Um, you, you deserve love. You are lovable. Which makes sense why you picked the rose quartz heart chakra. Um, I really would suggest you getting some rose quartz, even if it's not from my website. Get some rose quartz. I just like bracelets and like wearing jewelry because it's easy to put on and then you always have it with you. Um, playfulness to re recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to, um, a fun to shine. So I feel like this person is going to come in and try to like 
take you on a date and like do something fun maybe something you love to do as a child um maybe like going to six flags or like an amusement park or something like that going to the beach the world card completion that was an accident i didn't really mean to like do that the world card so completion okay so you're stepping out of one like we're ending one chapter and you're going to the next chapter the next phase of this romance calling in your soulmate lol I was literally about to say this. Your prayers, affirmations, visualizations helping you together. So I was I had I was journaling today and I had literally there was this affirmation I used to say that I was like, um, we just ended a chapter in our life, we've moved into the next phase in our life, amazing things have manifested for us. Something like that. So I was kind of writing something like that in my journal today. Um, so that's kinda of like what I'm getting with this. You feel me? Like oh wait, where did I I don't remember oh when I was like completion okay but also with calling your soulmate like this was an ending like everything all oh, this is like a twin flame connection so it's like everything happens for a reason when it comes to a twin flame connection you guys come together you guys meet you trigger stuff in each other to cause your ascension and awakening and then you guys go through separation so you guys can work through these issues separately sometimes people do it together but usually it's separate and then you guys come back together when you're ready so you have to, you ended the chapter of your separation and now you guys are moving into the next chapter, which is your union. Because it's time for you guys to come into union so you guys can, um, you know, help aid the world in healing all the love trauma that's going around. Some shit. It's so tragic. What's really, when you watch it, <laughs> when you listen to these people talk about their love life and all the cheating and everything that's going around, it's just sad. So you guys are going to help change the dynamic of um, how people view love and everything like that. Which is quite phenomenal. So yeah, this is why they're like, if you go through like separation, it's because like, if you guys have those toxic things like, oh, like cheating and not being honest with each other, you know, doing stuff, sneaky stuff behind each other's back and everything, you guys have to get that out of your system before you guys can come into union. Because the point of your, the point of your union is for you not to like for to show the world that not everybody is like that not every relationship has to go through this pain um like and you guys can actually be genuinely happy so if you still need healing to do and such like that do that and it will bring in this relationship uh more uh, it will bring it in quicker okay how does this person currently feel about you how does your person currently feel about you <sighs> Have faith in your dream. Don't let pride get in the way. What do you need to release? Okay. <sighs> A new romantic cycle begins. Oh, well, what was I saying? So, and this one's trying to pop out, which is expect power for change. Yeah. So... What do you need to release? I was just saying, if you need, if there's any doubt that you have, self-limiting beliefs, any toxic traits that you have, like the whole, oh, where are you? What were you doing? Give me your phone. Let me go through your DMs. Let me go through your messages. Who you talking to? Stuff. All that stuff is not cute. Okay, kill that. Don't let pride get in your way. Um, privacy is necessary even in a relationship. Okay, you if you cannot trust that person to be faithful while you're in a relationship with them in the first place don't do that um have faith in your dreams believe that this is a divine counterpart do not like trust them believe that they can change believe that they can become a better version of themselves like even if you dealt with cheating in the past heal that make sure you have discussed with things just because they come in and offer a love offer to you doesn't mean you have to jump into a relationship just because you guys were together before doesn't mean you guys have to jump into a relationship get to know that get to know that person make sure that the things that was causing your relationship not to work before is gone so so like you guys can so it doesn't cause the same thing to happen again okay make sure that you guys talk through your issues your problems Talk to your feelings, talk about all the insecurities you have, all the things that you need in order to feel loved, like your love languages, discuss that, lock up your love language, take a test, take the quiz, just Google love language quiz and you can find it. Figure out what your love language is, figure out what the other person's love language is, like you can literally just ask them, have them take the test, have them take the quiz, and then figure all that out. Like, don't, <sighs> honestly, like... 
don't try to rush into things just because you love them and just because you miss them because then the same thing is just gonna happen and we don't want that to happen because they're really like this um the world kind of needs this relationship to work it needs it to work the right way and i'm not trying to put a bunch of pressure on you guys but um it is what it is you signed up f this is what your soul signed up for this is your soul contract okay if you was attracted here then you are in a twin flame um journey congratulations i'm so happy for you <laughs> it's a lot of work oh no it's fun and healing is fun and healing is great so we love healing okay um i believe oh no i want to tell you guys like what they would say to you um hold on give me a second i'm gonna pass <laughs> Guys, can you believe that my ring light literally stopped working? So I have to buy another one. I think I'm going to buy studio lights instead of just ring lights again. Because this is like the third ring light that broke. And I'm just not here for it. So, yeah. We are going to do what attributes they love about you. Um, so, what attributes does your person love about you? Oh, that's too many. Ooh, that's I guess I'll take these. The brown eyes, nails. Okay, so you might have brown eyes. They really love your eyes. They think they glisten and they shine and like they can see through your soul and like you have a beautiful soul. Um, they love your nails, so maybe you always have your nails done. But you have a really nice butt, gray eyes, so maybe you have gray eyes. Hello, wait a minute. <laughs> Stop it. Curly hair, so maybe you have curly hair. And it's also rosy, so maybe you have rosy cheeks. They like when they make you blush. They love your smile, because that fell. Um, I'm going to take this. Smile. They love your smile. They think you have the most gorgeous smile. They think your smile lights up the room. And, like, whenever you smile, it just makes them, like, a million and one times happier. Like, they want to be the reason why you smile. That's cute or whatever. That is so cute. Okay, then we have medium build. So they love your they love your body type. Um, red hair. So maybe you have red hair, or like you dye your hair red. You have a red wig or something. Then we have brunette. So they also love. Um, so if you're a brunette, they love your hair. When my period, they like they like your hair. There's a lot of hair stuff coming up. So they really like your hair. They like your eyes. They like your body physique. They love your they love your face, okay? They love your face because there's so many face things and body stuff. Yeah, they think you they literally think you're gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Um we're going to do some messages. So like what would they say if they could say something to you? If they was if you guys are speaking, this wants to come out, make a wish with a bunch of eleven elevens over the place. So make a wish. What would this person a lot? Everything's trying to fall out. What would this person say to you? I wish I knew how you really felt. So they really want to know how you felt. So maybe they're watching TikTok. The maybe they're watching YouTube videos and TikToks on like tarot card readings of how you felt, and they're not sure if um what they're seeing is really accurate or if it's just like a facade, like a joke. Not a joke, but you know sometimes they question if it's really real. Um, I felt that. Um, I have never felt anyone like you in karmic relationship so they think you're one of a kind and they they think you're one of a kind and they're trying to find you and other people but that's what's resulting in them getting with like a bunch of karmic relationships you're amazing in bed so if you guys have had sex they think that you're amazing in bed lol i love your eyes i said that if you guys haven't had sex and they imagine what sex would be like with you um and they probably masturbate to you not gonna lie okay it's time for us to be together. I said I said that, and I'm coming back to you. LOL. Okay, so those came out in the same, like, literally together. So, oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> then we are going to pull some songs for you guys. And these will be messages from your person to you. So what messages does this person have? What songs has messages for you from your person? What message? What songs have messages from your person to you? Okay. There no one POV and make me wanna. Oh, I love those songs. Yes. So go look up those songs. Those are really. 
Those are really some good songs. Okay, so Dear No One. Um, that's basically um, about how she likes her space and everything, but she does want somebody who she can hold and call her own and love on and everything like that. Um, I love that song. I'm trying to remember how it goes real quick. If I can sing like a little piece of it, but it's fine. Um, POV by Ariana Grande. The, oh, Dear No One by Tori and Kelly. Then POV by Ariana Grande. So that's about how she loves seeing herself from the other person's point of view. Because they trust her, they love her, and they love her ugly and her pretty. So, um, she's like how they help, like, with her confidence and stuff like that. Like, they see her in a light that she doesn't even see herself in. So that's why, um, she loves her, their point of view. Make Me Wanna is about how, um, the his person makes him want to marry her makes him want to get over like her, his play ways and commit to her make her want to makes him want to have a child with her and such like that just because of how like amazing and beautiful and amazing <laughs> she is they are so yeah so those are all the messages that i have from your person to you this is how this person is currently feeling for you to sum it all up excuse me to sum it all up this person really loves you really wants to talk to you really wants to come in and express their feelings for you however they might be a little shy a little scared and you might reject them they see how many people want you even if you don't see it they see how many people want you and um how other people view you how beautiful everybody thinks you are and how much of a catch you are so they're just a little scared to come in and especially if you guys had like issues in the past and like fought before or like if he was upset with like things they did or said and such like that they're scared that you're still mad about it and that's like kind of halting them coming in however because they see you talking to other people and like see how desirable you are they need they feel like they need to hire up and come in so um you don't get taken away you know but yeah that was all the messages i have from you and your person if this resonated with you make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me you know like how it resonated and everything make sure you subscribe to this channel and press the bell so you know if whenever i upload you can book a personal reading for me if you want to like go more into this or like ask any more questions you can ask about career as well or just ask about anything you can get the link to um, my website to book a personal reading in the description box below as well as purchase um these pyramids all these bracelets you can find that in the description box below um thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for watching i hope this resonated with you and i hope this helped bring you some clarity and some peace of mind and help you believe that this person really does truly love you and still does love you and want a future with you um but yeah thank you guys thank you so much for watching i love your energy and i'll see you in my next video deuces hello my love so if you pick the rose quartz bracelet then this is the reading for you how you doing how you feeling how you been okay rose quartz is for self-love um self-worth self-esteem unconditional love kindness giving and receiving love all that good stuff we love rose quartz because it really does help you um gain some more self-love i literally bought myself a tiara and started wearing a tiara after I started wearing that rose quartz bracelet. So if you need to work on like your self love and thinking like you're worthy and like you're enough and such like that, then I suggest you purchasing that um, rose quartz bracelet because it truly is amazing and has been doing its job. When I tell you, girl, yes, oh boy, when I tell you it's been doing its job, it's been doing its job. <laughs> okay, and I mean you don't have to get that bracelet. You can always get the crystal or like get it get like jewelry from like a different. Um, somebody else whatever but when i tell you that works because i had rose quartz bracelets and rose quartz like rose quartz crystals and such like that and um they did like they did their job but that one i feel like did its most like did the most i don't know i don't know like that could just be me though but like yeah i really suggest like i really recommend it <laughs> and it's not just because it's me selling it but because it honestly is good and I got these things so I can help you guys become like the best versions of yourself and uh, um, I don't know I feel like I'm getting the energy that this pile that you don't see yourself the way that you should like you might have good confidence however um, every level of life requires a new level of confidence so say you want to be like in the limelight then um, you know you need to have more confidence than the average person because you need to not care about other people's opinions you know or even if you do have low self-esteem like low self-esteem will cause you to have limiting beliefs of how much somebody can truly care for you so i feel like you guys don't view yourselves the way that your divine counterpart or the person you're talking about the person you're thinking about the person you're acquiring about i feel like you don't see yourself the way that they see you 
and you don't love yourself as much as they love you and no one can love you more than you love yourself because um, you won't believe that somebody can love you that much no matter how much they tell you no, no matter how much they try to do for you no matter how much they try to show you that they truly love you like you won't hear it, you won't see it and believing is seeing so once you believe that you can be loved on that level you will start to see it and you will accept it and like believe it you feel me? I love it. I said once you start to believe it you'll believe it but honestly <laughs> anyway and you'll let them love you like that you know okay let's start shuffling that was like channel messages i think so yeah um how does your person currently feel about you wow that one to come out page of wands okay that's like childlike energy to me um ten of swords okay we're gonna take these three excuse me ten of swords knight of wands four of swords yes okay this is literally what i was saying this is a lot of um mental conflict limiting beliefs um Low self-esteem causing you to have these limiting beliefs. Low self-esteem causing you to um, have mental conflict. Okay, clarify the page of wands. <clears throat> Three of pentacles. This is what I was trying to say. You don't see yourself the way that he, they see you. Um, clarify the ten of swords, please. Clarify the ten of swords. Clarify the ten of swords. Um, We'll take this. This one will come out the moon okay <sighs> Ooh. this energy the knight of wands clarify the knight of wands please clarify the knight of wands whenever i take a break from the empress whenever i take a break from doing readings i always miss doing readings and when i get into it i'm just like oh my gosh i love doing this okay four of swords clarify the four of swords so maybe they like you guys don't hang out a lot and then like every time they see you it's like a breath of fresh air and they're like, yay, I get to see her again. Okay, so maybe you guys don't get to see each other a lot. So because of that, you don't feel like they actually like you. Or like really care about you. But just because they don't get to see you a lot doesn't mean they don't want to see you a lot. Okay, so clarify the four of swords, please. Okay, thank you, ten of cups. Yeah, like you think they don't like you. But in all honesty, you're the complete wish fulfillment. You're the like complete happiness, pride and joy. And then Eight of Cups is the Tower Moment. When you walked away, it caused a Tower Moment in their life. Four of Cups, and they don't know if you're gonna come back. And they're trying to figure out what they did wrong and what they can do to um, make you come back and understand that they truly do love you. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, page of Wands. Um, they saw you as like the pinnacle of their happiness. Like you brought out the the childlike um, version of them again, like the childlike um, things that they, the things that they saw, the things that they enjoyed when they were a child, like you brought that out of them, you made them like start to like look at their childhood and think about like what they used to love to do and like get into doing that stuff again. Um, with the three of pentacles, they're watching you often, so whether it's like online or anything, but they think you're gorgeous, maybe you paint, they think you're like really good at painting as well. And they notice, they know that there's a lot of eyes on you. Um, yeah, so Ten of Swords, they watch, like I said, they watch you on social media a lot. Like a lot, a lot, a lot. I don't know if you guys are like at a distance or you guys just don't talk a lot. Maybe they work a lot or you work, work a lot. Um, maybe they have like a lot of money. People who have like a lot of money, they tend to have to work hard, work a lot very often because that causes them that's how they made the money you feel me and just because you came into your, the life doesn't mean they can stop doing that um that's the kind of the vibe i was getting when i was like oh just because you don't see them a lot doesn't mean they don't want to they don't want to maybe it's like work or something that's causing them not to be able to so don't go be in your head thinking like oh they don't want to see you um because they do so the moon there's like something being hidden from you and um you intuitively know this but you're kind of thinking of it as like him being a fuck boy um, and him like doing shit behind your back but in all honesty he sees you as an empress and he wants to be able to give you like that lifestyle like a goddess type of lifestyle where he can like you want something and he can snap his fingers and bring it to you which is why he's working so hard um, to like build an abundance for you guys and put an abundance for you so he can give you this lifestyle so you can just sit on your throne and be fed like grapes and like fanned with big leaves like that's what I'm thinking that's what I'm envisioning right now like um you on a private island away at a resort or something and like you're just laying down like outside on the beach 
with like a shade and like servants around you some of them fanning you with like really big leaves and others are like feeding you grapes or like pineapples or like whatever fruit that you love strawberries you know that's the type of lifestyle he wants to give you um he like i don't know if because of this like you ended things with him with them um but like he's in his head like oh my like i fucked up how can i like fix this and bring her back bring them back bring you back and um and you're in your head like oh he doesn't love me they don't love me and you gotta be in all honesty like this is how you're feeling this is what's in your mental and this is what's in the physical what's in the body like this is what it really is and in real life like they see a whole future with you and they see you as com like their complete pride and joy like you are everything to them and bring them complete happiness um with the eight of cups this is where i'm getting that you walked away from them and then the time moment just created a huge time moment and now they like continue to cry over spilled milk like how can i bring this person back what can i do to make this person love me and like know that i love them and know how i truly feel about them because i don't know people got people just don't think of the idea of oh let me tell them but then again like i said in the beginning if you can't believe that they can really love you then you won't be able to see that they can love you um so which is why i recommend you getting the rose quartz bracelet um again you don't have to get it from me but do try to invest in some rose quartz rose quartz tend to be like a inexpensive type of um crystal because um they're very common um my rose quartz bracelet is like 11 dollars, 12 dollars, something somewhere around there um and it's like you can wear it around with you all the time which is another reason why i feel like it helped me raise my self-confidence so quickly because i had it around me so like all the time i was wearing it all the time and like when i'm not wearing it i keep it around my cellular night tower which i will also be selling soon but um yeah i keep it around my cellular night tower because cellular night um charges crystals it cleanses and charges crystals so if i'm not wearing it i put all my bracelets like around that Okay, so this card flew out talking, interested, conversing more, awaiting message arrives, text, call, email, hovering. Yeah, so they're hovering over your social media. They want to text you, DM you. Like, they want to comment on your stuff, but they're scared that, um, like, you don't want to hear from them. And, like, they're not enough. And that, like, you're just, like, over them. And you probably feel, like, the same to them. Like, they don't want to hear from you and that you're not enough for them and that you're over them. But, like, guys... We need to get over this <laughs> and start communicating. This one's to come out. The Grim Reaper, the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. Exactly. This is why I'm feeling. This is what this person feels like you feel about them, right? Because you walked away from them. And they're like, um, they want to text you, but they're like, they're not going to want to hear from me. They don't want to text. Like, if they wanted to text me, they would. Type of vibe. That's how they feel. Keys on a ring. Many options, decisions, unconditional, unconventional, string along, one night stand, right? So they're feeling as though um, you have all these options, so like why would you be interested in them? Okay, this one wants to come out. Camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make memories. Yeah, um, they're looking at your pictures. I don't know if you guys take pictures together or like you sent them pictures and like videos, but like they're looking at that stuff. <sighs> Seduction, this came out in every pile. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. And then we have dates, meeting someone new, dating, get back out there, plan, set date. Um, they're working on, a, they're debating whether or not they should go on a date with you, like take you out on a date, ask you on a date. Um, but they feel like you have other people that you're dating and talking to. So they're not sure if um, that's a good idea. Literally dating is on two different um, cards. They have dating in hand and it says date. Uh, they might think that you're like having sex with other people, so they're like, oh, like I don't know if like she just complete they completely moved on from me or not. At the bottom of the deck, we have ca ca cassette, outdated thinking, condi conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Yeah, I don't know if you guys had like an argument or something at the end of this relationship, but if you did, they're replaying that, or like if you guys had sex before, they keep replaying that as well. Um, they're thinking back to like all the mistakes that they made which is never good um but yeah they're thinking back to all the mistakes that they made everything that they said to you all the things they wish they said to you instead like if they said mean things to you know that that haunts them every single day like if they hurt your feelings and everything if they ever made you cry like that haunts them every single day and um 
they wish that they can like reach out to you and make things better. This is on um, quite the pile. <laughs> I think both of y'all need to get some rose quartz on some shit. Both of y'all going through it. Y'all y'all self confidence and self worth is it needs it needs some help. It needs some work. Um, cause you guys don't understand that if to both you guys, they the other one like your person is the only person you want, and the other person you're the only person they want, right? But because you guys are talking to other people or like they, it seems like that. They're like, oh, they're over me. But in all honesty, you guys are wishing that that, per that the other people that you're talking to is the other, is like you. You feel me? Like, he's wishing that the people he's talking to is you. And you're wishing that people that you're talking to was him or her. The, like, the, your person that you're talking about. Um, what? How does this person currently feel about you? How does your person feel, currently feel about you? Okay, new love, wedding, make the effort. Yeah, um, I love free yourself. Yes, free yourself from the constraints of your mind and those limiting beliefs. And you feel as though you're not enough. And, like, you're not loved and this person can never love you. Like, because this person loves the shit out of you. Because now if we get into the rest of the car, if you got a wedding, make the effort, new love. So this person wants to make the effort to come in and hand you this new love. Because at the end of the day, they want to marry you. And they wish that they was already married to you. But, like, all this bullshit happened. Maybe, honestly, when this happened, and it literally says key on the ring. So, like, forget the key. We're talking about the ring. <laughs> like, they, I feel like they was, like, getting ready to propose to you. And, you know, like, when people, like, when they want to do something like that, they tend to, like, get in their head. And, like, things get fishy. Like, things just start to, I don't know. Like, you get nervous and shit. And then you, like, say the wrong things. And things come out wrong. And yeah, so that could very well be like what happened here. Like you took things the wrong way or they said things the wrong way and it resulted in like a separation maybe or like just y'all fighting and such like that. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So like there's still chemistry in this connection. Like they really, they, like how do I... Like, wedding is here. Make the effort and new love. Like, they really love you. How does this person currently feel about you? How does your person currently feel about you? How does your person currently feel about you? How does your person currently feel about you? One more card. I like that I say one more card and then they just give me a whole pile. <laughs> That's great. How does your person currently feel about you? 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 Oh my god. Can I just get a card, please? I hate when I try to shuffle for that long. Alright, let's go this way. Passion. Okay. Um, express your love. Yeah, this person's gonna come and express their love. They're just scared too at the moment. Oh, I guess we'll take this. Passion. LOL! Did y'all hear me say this? Like, I split the deck and I saw this. And then I was like, if it wanted to come out, it will come out. I said it in my head. But I said it out loud too. I was like, passion. But I continued shuffling because I was like, if it wants to come out, it will come out. Then I tried to pick up the deck. I put down the deck. I tried to pick it up and it was there at the bottom. And I started off... I started off the reading and talking about passion, right? Okay, thank you. I'm motherfucking good at what I do. Thank you. Uh, I'm not supposed to be cursing, but like at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. And heart to heart conversations, um, honesty, discuss, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Yeah. So soon, you guys will be able to discuss your feelings with each other. They're gonna come in and offer you in the love, explaining how they truly feel, probably letting you know that they want to marry you. Might propose to you. Um, do probably trying to get his money up so he can buy you a really nice ring. You feel me? Because diamonds make us horny or whatever. <laughs> Hello, I can't wait until like I actually come out with my music and you guys can like hear like my music because um my songs are bops <laughs> and I feel like there's just gonna be mad caption quotes that you guys can use and I didn't write the songs and like um with the intentions of it being caption quotes however when I be saying my stuff like when I think of like things to say to people like I don't know I be saying my lyrics because I'm just like that's a whole move like that's a whole vibe anyway 
I can't wait until you guys can hear my music. But yeah, back to this reading. Oh, honestly, okay, that's why that came out. Because the my music helps very much so with, like, your self-esteem, women empowerment, like, feeling comfortable, letting a man, you know, spoil you and, like, spend money on you. Because I know a lot of women, like, especially if you have, like, low self-worth and such like that, and it's not a... I'm not trying to insult anyone. It's not offensive to know that, like, your self-worth isn't, like, where it needs to be because um, we will grow, we were raised to, like, we was programmed, literally, when we was being raised to, like, think that we're not worthy of nice things and that we're not enough and that we need to be embarrassed about things and stuff like that. You feel me? But, no. Absolutely not. That is not the case. You deserve nice things and you should let people do nice things for you and get, get you nice things. How does this person currently feel about you? So I'm guessing that this person wants to do nice things for you and get you nice things. Bring love into the situation. So this person can be an Aquarius because this is new one in Aquarius. Um, how does this person currently feel about you? How does this person currently feel about you? Also, I see cups. So um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and then also the moon, which is Pisces. Um, the Ten of Cups was cups. Wands, so that's fire sign. So that's... Um, that's what fire signs so that's leo aries sagittarius and then i also see a little bit of pentacles so that is um capricorn virgo uh, aquarius no capricorn virgo and taurus okay then we got confidence is key to your success new moon and leo work with the new moon the actual new moon just passed um then we have your commitment is being tested and what you need to release okay so work on especially within the moon like try to release like try to uh, manifest confidence self-worth self-love okay try to manifest you believing that you're beautiful try to manifest you seeing yourself the way that this person sees you and the way that um the world sees you um like listen to the song pov by ariana grande i feel like that will resonate with you uh, a new romantic cycle begins yeah that's what it's like. A new romantic cycle begins. So yeah, this person really wants to come in and offer you this love. Um, but when we have limited beliefs, it blocks off this person from coming in. So you need to work on raising your self-worth, your self-love, and believing that you are lovable. And know and believe that you are a prize. And not even in a sense like, oh, I'm going to play a game and win you as a prize, yada, yada, yada. Like, it's not insulting for people to think that you are something desirable enough that they will work hard to try to win you. Like, for people to fight over you and then... At the end, if whoever does the best job, you get like they, they get you. Like, is that really insulted? Insulting? I mean, unless they don't take your feelings into account and they're just like, oh, if I win, then I'ma get you, and you don't have any say in it. Like, that's different. That's them trying to take away your power if you're not interested in the person in the first place. But if you are interested in that person and you want them to want you, like, then there's nothing wrong with them seeing you as a prize because you see them as a prize too, right? You see them as a wish fulfillment, something to win, right? From like like a reward for all your hard work and you know working on becoming your best self so i'm going to pull from my deck um characteristics um of what they love about you okay so what does this person love about you oh this is in the wrong deck but i guess that wanted to come out my life is better with you in it <sighs> wait why are these in here oh this is from the last pile i did so go check out pile number three which i know it sounds weird but i really did um <laughs> I did um, pile number three before I did your pile. I don't know why. I was just kind of like drawn to. I was like called to do it. So I did. So go check out pile number three. It will probably like help shine some more light onto you. And like I guess there's messages in there that you needed to hear. Which is kind of strange if you're like a woman. We could reach you understand if like when you go watch pile three if you was called. But um, it will also make sense because now you kind of see it from like a different point of view. Okay. You're amazing in bed. Oh. That's why I said you should go listen to um, POV by Ariana Grande. And then if you go watch pile number three, then it'll make more sense to you as well. Okay, you're amazing in bed. I love your eyes. I wish, make a wish with a bunch of 11-11s. I prayed for you. My heart will go on. My feelings for you scared me. And my life was better with you in it. So those are the ones that came out in the last pile. And I guess those were all messages for you. So I'm going to leave them out. Um, I'm going to leave them over here though. Okay, then they have brown eyes. Oh, well, they love your they love your eyes, your butt. These also came out with part number one, so you might want to go watch that. Oh, well, just, just watch the whole video. <laughs> like, only if she was called to. Like, 
but I'm only saying that because there's how many cards in this and they came out um you know for this again which is the only reason why I'm saying that if you was not called to watch it don't watch it but if you was called to watch it then watch it okay I'm being called to take this one so ethereal so they like you kind of like luck um like in out of this world and um you probably act like that you're probably very spiritual and they like that I feel like a tarot reader and such like that um what is that towering so maybe like tall long hair they like your long hair Maybe if you have long hair, they like your long hair. If you like wear wigs, they like it when you like wear long wigs and shit like that. Uh, and towering. So maybe you're like tall. And even if you're not tall, like your spirit is tall. So I got fat and plump. Um, don't be offended by that. I don't think being fat is like a bad thing. There's big girls who look hella good. Being fat is an um, adjective, not an insult. At least when I'm saying it. Okay, so like if I say you're skinny, if I say you're muscular... If, like all that stuff that's not an insult so if I say you're fat that's not me trying to insult you they like your size they like I guess they like big girls not your thick or um if you're not like on a bigger side then maybe they like they think that you have like a fat butt and they like your fat butt <laughs> oh my gosh they like a lot of things about you because like my piles keep like the shit keeps falling <sighs> everything just keeps falling. Everything, like they like everything about you. That, that's what I'm getting. Because every, like my whole pile would just like keep falling. And they said also curvy. So yeah, you're probably like one of the like a thick girl with like curves and shit like that, or like a, a thick guy who has like muscles and shit like that. And they like that. They like that a lot because it came out all the time. It's girly. So they like um how. Excuse me, they like how girly you are, how feminine, feminine you are. Or if you're like a male, they like how um, how in touch with like your feminine side you are. Because honestly, that is most definitely attractive in a male. When you can be in touch with your feminine side and not in like toxic masculinity energy. Like that's not cute. Okay. Pound number two. What did your person... Well, if your person can speak to you, what would they say to you? I know you are my twin flame. If your person can speak to you, what would they say? It's time for us to get back together. LOL, you might want to go watch part number one. To be honest. Um, I'm coming back to you. LOL. Yeah. Yeah, go watch part number one. LOL, they want to say a lot to you. Which is why I was called to tell you to watch all the piles. Because I didn't do that for all the other ones. I would tell them to go to like one pile. But like, not all of them. You are a goddess. Can we try again? I love you. You confuse me. LOL. I love your voice. I'm going to... You are going to have my babies. I want to make love to you. Okay, no more. Ascension. I felt like I was supposed to treat that ascension. But yeah, so they said... I love you. I love your voice. Um, you are going to have my babies. I want to make love to you. Ooh, hold on, I'm trying to have them all be shown. Okay. Low key, that was for a thumbnail. Okay, do you see my head? Yeah. <laughs> I love you. Oh. Okay, so they yeah, they said it's time for us to be together. So they're ready to come back. Oh, and I'm coming back to you. You are goddess. I love you. You confuse me. I want to make love to you. You are going to have my babies. I love your voice. Can we try again? Then don't forget these that we had, which were, I love your eyes. You're amazing in bed. So if you didn't have sex, they bring back having sex with you. And if you did have sex, they think about it all the time. And they think you're amazing. My life is better with you in it. Make a wish. My feelings for you scare me. My heart will go on. I prayed for you. My life is better with you in it. Oh, I already said that. But they really feel as though their life is better with you in it. <sighs> yeah, what else was I going to say? They love your voice. I don't know if you like singing such, but if you do, they love it. And if you don't, then they just love hearing you speak. 
so maybe you like chat a lot i know i do which is why i do i love doing readings because <laughs> i just talk a lot um and i just like be chatting and i know people like really like my voice because they would like tell me to chat basically um can we try again so like i don't you guys are probably in separation but they oh, you guys like had some problem and they want to try again I got it by Pastor Mike. Mike's, um, I got it by Pastor Mike. C wow, I got it by Pico. Okay, I'm putting it back because if I can't say it, then I'm not supposed to say it because I tried too many times. Okay, what does what messages has this person? No tears left to cry by Ariana Grande. They don't want to cry no more. Um, Stay ready. What a life by Kendrick Lamar and Janae Iko. These are songs that you should go look up and listen to because they have messages in it for you. Um, can you not do that? What messages have, what songs have messages in it for Powell 2 from the person? What songs have messages for you by from the person? Growing Pains, Alicia Cara. Okay. These are interesting for love reading. What messages, what song has messages for you by from your person? I'm not gonna take all those. What message what songs have messages for you from your person? From, what's, oh, what songs have messages for you from your person? I'm gonna take one more. Okay. I'll take the one from the bottom. Changes. Oh well, that was the one that flew out. But there was like a bunch that came with it, so I didn't take it. But I guess there was a reason it flew out. Okay. So yeah, this person has been going through changes. Which makes, like, No Tears Left to Cry, Stay Ready, Growing Pains, and Changes all came out. Um, so, the Growing Pains by Alicia Cara and Changes by Des Loaf. Um, this person has been going through some change, which is also why, oh well, the fact that it went on the card that I was about to say. <laughs> which is why Ascension also came out. So, this is very much so giving me Twin Flame vibes where you guys triggered um, extensions in each other, which will make sense if you guys are in um, separation right now because that tends to happen so go check power number one and I'm not just saying that to say that like you there's probably messages there for you um but like they're tired of crying over this, this connection so they want to come in like stay ready what a life they're ready to have like a whole life with you um and like they're trying they're getting themselves ready and like pumped in to come get you growing pains they've probably been like crying a lot to themselves which is why I know tears have to cry um and like, like in growing pains they're saying how like she's uncomfortable and like really sad and everything but it's just growing pains like the things she's going through it's just things that come with growing up as a person and changing changes is about how like like she changes in life changes is about how she's like going through changes in her life because like she's going to have passions and when you want to go after your passions like not everybody can come with you so you end up like losing a lot of people people start to think you're fake and that you're, you're um, changing on them and everything like that but like if you want a new life, then you have to become a new person, and changing is never a bad thing. Uh, a lot of people like to, they get comfortable and they like to stay the same their whole life, and that's why they never are able to achieve their goals, and they keep living the same day in the same year over and over again, because they continue to be the same person over and over again. <sighs> you feel me? But um, that's all the messages that I have. So to sum it all up, this person really loves you. Um, they're scared to come in. This is like a reoccurring pattern in this whole fucking thing. Um, they're having, they're, they have mental blocks that's stopping them from coming in. They don't know how you feel and like it confuses them and scares them. Um, they really love you and they want to tell you. So they probably are going to, they plan on marrying you. Like they really want to. And um, once they get over like this whole mental blocks and everything, they will actually do that. Um, I don't, I don't really want to say, you know, give them some hints that you really do. Maybe let them know that you're not mad at them, you know, like, drop hints that you're not mad at them. But, like, I won't tell you to, like, let them know how you feel. I mean, but then again, that sounds dumb. Like, because, you know, if you really care about somebody, maybe you should let them know. But, like, if you're, like, the female, I feel like men need to be able to, like, express themselves a little better. If you are a male then you need to learn how to express yourself because this person really loves you and they just don't know how you feel about them and women tend to be the one to express themselves more and everything like that so yeah what's this short they're also like if you're short if you're short they like that 
Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if it resonated. Make sure you leave a comment below letting me know how it resonated. I love to hear like things like that. Um, it actually really does make my day, I'm not even lying. I talk to my friends and like people I know about it all the time. I'll be like, yeah, so I was even reading. And this person was dead ass. Like they commented and said, you know, like it really does make me feel good. So please leave a comment. Um, and please subscribe if like you feel like you're part of my tribe and part of my collective. Um, and press the bell so you're notified when I upload. Um, if you would like to purchase any of my crystal bracelets or my crystal um, pyramids, because they truly do work, and I like kind of explain what each one is for and what they are in the description of like the product um, on my website. You can check out my website, the link to my website, on my um, in the description box as well. You can type in shaynabellasworld.com and you it will come up. <sighs> um. If you like to work a personal reading, you can also find like the link for that in the description box and or on my website. Same link, shanabellasworld.com. Um, so if this resonated with you, then we can um, try to go a little bit more into it. Or you can ask anything, or like whether it's about life, career, like past life regressions, yada yada yada. We can literally do anything. Um, you just have to find like the right reading. And I do them either in video or um, like through Zoom, so like we can do a live one. I love meeting you guys and like talking to you guys, so I like doing it through Zoom. But thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. I hope this resonated, and I love to see you in my next reading. Bye. Have a blessed day, my love. High power number three. Ooh, well, that's not like that. High power number three. If you pick the citrine bracelet, then this is the pile for you. So, Citrine is for prosperity and success. So, maybe you've been like really focused on like your money, trying to get your money matters um, up. I have a feeling that a lot of males pick this pile. Um, for one, men tend to be like very much so about their money and shit like that. Not, that. not saying that women aren't, but especially like a love reading, men like to have their money together and shit for their women because men are supposed to be the providers. So I completely understand that because, yeah, the fuck you should. <laughs> As well, not even on some like oh gold digging way or like you know that a woman can't have her own money because a woman should have her own money. However, um, you know I know the men tend to be a little insecure when the women make more money and shit like that. You feel me? That like, y'all just like to have money. I understand that you know it looks good when you have money when you drive a nice car. You're more like the pull of the ladies. I get it because I'm not gonna lie. If you're driving a nice car and you pull up to me, I'm more likely to stop and look at you twice than if you're pulling up next to me in a in a what do what do you call it when it's like a junkyard type of car like a a hoopty yeah if you're pulling up in a nice a mercedes benz or like a porsche i'm more likely to pull i'm more likely to stop and say hi to you if you pull up in a hoop than if you pull up in a hoopty if you pull up in a hoopty i'm gonna i'm gonna look at you like sir you need to focus on your money and getting your bag up you ain't got time for a girl and you can't afford me anyway so <laughs> So I'm going to light some more incense because my incense went out during my last reading. Okay, so um, yeah, so I'm literally recording this before I record pile number two. Uh, I don't know while I was washing my hands, I went to the bathroom and while I was washing my hands, I just kept getting messages. And thank you for love, light, and protection. And spirit was just telling me do pile number three. Um, it's on prosperity. Like yes, it's still love reading, but the men have um the men the men need some messages too. And, um, yeah, so I feel like this is a lot of men who came into this this pile. However, you don't have to be, like, you can dead ass be a woman in this pile as well. So, don't, don't think if you're a woman that you have to click off. You just might be somebody more so in, like, your boss energy, more in your masculine energy, energy right now. Which is completely fine. Because I hop into my masculine energy quite often as well. Because, um, money, 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 money. Money fucking rules the world. So, yeah. You need that shit to survive. So, I completely understand. So, you might be a little um, stressed about money matter. Ma ma you might be a little stressed about money matters. Which is why they also made me bring um, my money tree out here. It's looking a little... <laughs> a little... You feel me? But I need to get another money tree. I think I'm going to get it from somewhere else. But this is pyrite. Right? So, this bracelet is also pyrite. This one right here. 
And pyrite attracts money into your life, abundance, because pyrite is also known as fool's gold. So maybe you should get some pyrite and um, that will help you with your money matters. Okay, but let's get into like how your person feels about you, right? Let's get to how your person feels about you. Um, I feel like this person, they really like you and they feel as though you don't like them. That is what I'm getting because you let your pride get in the way. You don't really let them, sh you don't show them your emotions. Um, you try to hide it. You put on a mask. You don't want to like, you don't ever let them in really. Um, you feel like they have a bunch of options. They feel as though you have a bunch of options. And they feel like they're just like going around in circles when it comes to you. Like they don't know how you feel. They don't know if you really want a family with them. But they want a family with you. I don't know if that's going to go so fast for you. But they truly do want um, a lot with you. Like, they want a future with you. At least that's how they're feeling right now. Like, they're like, oh, this person is everything to me. And I just wish I knew how they felt about me. So, I wish they would show me. Because girls are taught that, like, guys are supposed to make that move first, you know? So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to stop shuffling that way because I think they tell me how many guys not. Like, I don't need to do that anymore. Oh my gosh, everything is flipping over. Two of Cups. I don't take reversals. Um, but I do take in mind that they are reversals and reverse. So, with the Two of Cups, we're going to take the World Card. World of Foot. The words. Yeah, I don't... Are you guys not in contact? Or do you guys have trouble speaking your mind? Yeah, because um, I'm having so much trouble talking right now. And... I'm a, I'm a talker. I'm a speaker. Okay. Two of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. Four of Pentacles. Six of Wands. This is very much so um, similar to the first pile. So if you were drawn to the first pile, you might want to go watch that as well. And then Two of Pentacles. So now we're going to clarify. Two of Cups. Three of Pentacles. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune, please. Ace of Cups. Oh, that's too many, too many cards. Um... We'll take the star card and we'll put these back. Um, clarify the four of pentacles. That was quick as hell. The page of pentacles. Okay. I'm hungry. Um, take this girl out on a date. Go to a restaurant, take her out, cook for her, something like that. Ask her out on a date. Um, oh, if you're a female, this person wants to ask her out on a date. Because I'm hella hungry and I want to go out. <laughs> Five of cups to clarify the six of wands. And I'm going to take this. The King of Swords to clarify. Ow. No, my hand didn't want that. I'm sorry. My hand's dead ass hurt when, like, when I'm not supposed, like, when I'm doing, like, when I'm not supposed to do something. Like, when I'm not supposed to take out a card. Like, my hand will literally physically hurt. And I hate that shit. Because I'm just like, why can't you just say no? <laughs> I'm clear audience too. Okay. Clarify this. Okay. Page of Cups. Clarify Ace of Pentacles is a page of cups. At the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups. The King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, let's get into it. Because this is... I need to moisturize my hands. Okay, oop, I'm going to go... Okay, so... I don't know. You should ask your girl what her love language is. Because um, I have, I'm having a feeling... Her love language might be either acts of services and or gifts and quality time. Um, I mean, to be honest, that is very much so like girls, like tend to be girls, like love languages. But so I'm thinking one, um, treat her nice, treat her well, like pay for her, get her nails done. And I'm not trying to say it's like, oh, just, you know, pay for her shit. However, girls tend to feel as though... They're cherished and loved when you, like, do nice things for her. When you take account to, like, things she likes. So, if she really likes to get her nails done, like, send her some money or give her some money or whatever to get her nails done. Like, she shouldn't have to ask for it. Don't let her ask for it. Just be like, here, go get your nails done. You feel me? Go get yourself something nice. And, um, let her do that. Surprise her one day and be like, oh... <sighs> Surprise her one day and be like, get ready at this time or whatever. I'm trying to take you... I'm taking you out. We're gonna go out to eat or something like that. You know, get her some flowers, get her a gift. Like, she shouldn't have to ask for this stuff. Like, be somebody who, um, you you know, you like I said in the beginning, men want to be a provider. Like, I don't know, I feel like because of all this money shit and all this money energy, it's like, y'all got money 
all y'all um, are working on getting money. You feel me? So, y'all probably big ballers or whatever. That's why I got the money tree out here. Okay, yeah, I'm feeling that energy off. Like, my, my, my hands is, like, feeling, like, I don't even know. Like, the energy in my hand, and then I'm looking at the Ace of Pentacles, like, you just have money to get. <laughs> Oh, oh, maybe I'm tweaking. Nah, I don't think I'm tweaking. Okay, so the two of cups is a divine counterpart. You feel me? So you gotta treat your girl right. She had nice. You shouldn't be walking around having her look. She shouldn't be walking around looking crazy because are you trying to claim somebody who's looking crazy? I don't think so. You wanted her to look somewhere where it's like she feels comfortable. Well, where you can claim her and be like real confident in the fact that you're claiming her because you're like, yeah, my girl's the baddest girl out here. Point period. You feel me? Three of Pentacles, like, cause she gets a lot of people looking at her. You feel me? Like, people admire her. She's, like, a model. Like, people probably ask her if she's a model quite often. Like, she probably be walking down the street and have, like, a lot of people trying to, like, talk to her and such like that. Like, she just has a lot of eyes on her. Probably a trendsetter, like, an icon, such like, such like that. So, and then I'm also seeing the lighthouse over there in the Two of Cups card. So, like, she, her energy just, like, lights up the room when she walks into it. Like, she gets a lot of en attention, right? So, it's, like, one of those things where you want to have to make sure she continues to look good. Oh, oh, this, and, and don't think that, like, things like this is a girl being a gold digger. That's not the case at all on the slightest, okay? We just like to look nice. We just like nice things, you feel me? And if you're a man, then this is, like, men should be the provider. So, like, and especially if she's doing this stuff for herself, why are you having her slave and do all these things for herself? Like, that's ghetto. It's, like, women are supposed to sit down and look pretty and lead you, but not in a sense... For you to work hard you feel me like i'm getting very much so like she's like feminine she's the feminine energy which is facts and you're the you're the masculine energy so she's the intuition you're the ego right so she tells you like where to go and gives you like the intuition like the ideas and everything and you put it into action you feel me like that's how it's supposed to be with the wall will of fortune like i'm saying things are moving putting things into action the star card um, I'm getting very much so power couple vibes, right? So, like I was saying, like, she's probably the star, like, whether she's an artist, um, a singer, a rapper, dancer, social media influencer, model, doesn't matter, but, like, you're supposed to help her with this. Like, this is very much a power couple, so maybe, like, you guys have, like, a YouTube video, a YouTube channel together, or, like, a TikTok together, or, like, you guys should do that, because I feel like you guys would be very successful if it is, or maybe they're dreaming about this, because this is, um, how they feel about you, right? Um, yeah, so this is probably what they really, this is what they want from you. And not a, oh, like, they just want my money, but it's, like, how, this is how they will feel loved by you. If you put in this effort and such like this, like they're probably thinking about all these things and like want these things, but scared to ask you. Like some, there's a lot of girls. Like if you have, if they have low self esteem, um, or like low self worth, they'll feel like they feel bad about asking people for this until they actually experience it. Like it's hard to believe that somebody will want to do these things for you until like you experience it at least once. Um, so I know like my first, my first boyfriend who actually like did stuff like this for me was like a few years ago, and since then I was like, this is my new bare minimum and like ever since then like i've only upgraded since then which is why i can easily ask for this stuff and i don't even have to ask for it because it's like i expect this thing these things right like if you don't do it then you don't really fuck with me because the men who really fuck with me will spend the money on me if they have it and i feel like y'all really do have this money but a lot of times guys don't think like there's some guys who don't think about it like if you're used to girls who have low self-worth and like didn't like ask for things like this and didn't expect things like this like just when um this wouldn't cross your mind. So this is why you was drawn to this reading. Because I'm letting you know that this is what um, this is what the universe needs you to do. Or what sis needs you to do in order for her to feel loved by you. She loves you very much so. She sees you as somebody who, like, she wants to keep you around. She doesn't want to see anybody else with you. She sees you as a divine counterpart. Like, she wants this relationship to move on. Like, move forward into, like, the next phase. But she doesn't know if you want that as well. Oh, at least your other person doesn't know if they if you want that as well. Okay, they see you as somebody who is like, like they got you, or like they think when if if you guys aren't together yet, they think when they get you, like you'll be everything to them, um, like you're everything that they want. But if they if you are together, and when you ugh, words, and if you are together, you probably make them nervous and make them talk like really quickly and like talk over their words and such like that or they feel like they're not smart when they talk to you i'm, I'm hearing valentine by frank sinatra so it's like um when you open your mouth are you smart and like you're not you're unphotographable however you're the 
um, you know, my favorite work of art type vibes. Okay, so yeah. They, I don't know if you guys like, they feel like you walked away from them and like they don't know if you're going to come back. Like they don't know how you feel. They feel like you turned their back on them and they want you to like communicate how you feel more about them. Um, Ace of Pentacles. They might want some like saving like this time won't you save me this time won't you save me maybe i can feel myself giving up giving up so maybe they're they're thinking that they, that they might need to give up on this relationship because coming from a female's point of view uh when your man isn't like doing things for you and like showing you how much they care and such like that it can come across as like he doesn't care about you he's playing you and such like that and um, then your friends will tell you, like, yeah, leave this man, everything, yada, yada. So if she's hearing this over and over again in her head because you're not showing her or her friends that you care, then she's going to start to, like, listen to them and believe them. But with the King of Cups, I see that you really do truly care about her. And you do want to do all these nice things for her, but you don't know, like, she actually wanted it and everything. So I'm letting you know, and I'm clarifying it up for you, that she does want these things. Um, page of Cups. Like, this can be a really nice, fun, loving relationship. Um, you guys should try doing, like, a couple's channel, like, a couple content creation, couple Instagram, couple TikTok. I don't know. But, like, because I feel like people will really like the dynamic of your relationship once you guys start to discuss how you guys really feel about each other. And, um, like move on from the feeling of you can't you know like you guys can't express yourselves like women like when men express themselves i'm not saying to you know be a little baby and be a little b-i-t-c-h but like do show that feminine side of you because we all have ma masculine and feminine energy in us so do show like the more feminine side of you do sh share your emotions let them know what they do that you love let them know what they do that you don't like let them know when they hurt you because i know sometimes we say things that like it comes off offensive and like hurts us and such hurts you like something like that and makes you a little insecure so like let them know like the things that they do or say that makes you insecure let them know the things that you that that they could do to make you feel um more of a man in the relationship and such like that um i feel like once you start like providing for her and everything like you will feel more like the man in the relationship because instead of having her work really hard for all the things she wants like you will be able to get that sense of like the sense of pride that okay like yeah my girl looks good because i did that for her you feel me like i i took my girl out here and now she's like really happy i bought her flowers and look at her smile and such like that like you'll start to feel a little better about yourself once you start to um provide things like that for her so i'm gonna pull from my um island time wellness deck if there's not like if this pile wasn't like picked from like a bunch of men i'm gonna be really confused because <laughs> i'm just picking up on mad fucking men energy or like at least masculine energy because like gender doesn't really matter but, like masculine energy like, I'm sorry if this is a whole deck of females, but even if it is a deck of, like, females, then you need to communicate with your man that this is what you want, okay? Or at least your, this is what your man wants to do for you, you feel me? Like, take it how it resonates. Ooh, they think you're sexy. Okay. How does this person feel about you? How does your person feel about you? How does your person feel about you? How does your feel? Oh wow! The fact that that card really came out, and I that was like the card where I was like, oh, they think you're sexy, <laughs> and it really just flew out. Ooh, these cards were on the floor. I'm gonna pick them up because I didn't even know they were down there. These are mine. Ooh, I'm a mess. Oh wow, they wouldn't have loud ass sex with you. Maybe break some furniture. <laughs> I'm here dropping everything. Okay, lightning. LOL. These came out in pile number one. Go watch pile number one on some shit. Cause this is the same these are the same cards that came out in pile number one. Go watch pile number one. Go go watch pile number one. Because these are the same cards that came out in pile number one. Okay, so we have lightning. Um I'm not gonna read all of it because I'm not really getting those energies from this. Um okay, so we have lightning, seduction, stab in the back, not today, and paradise. Okay. So Okay, so they really feel like you're not interested in them and that you're interested in other people. You might be dating around other people. I mean, they do want, they really like you and they want to 
have um sexual intercourse with you they want to make love with you make love to you they want you to make love to them which is what they they really want that and they want you to call them but they feel like they they feel like you won't call them and they feel like every day is not the day that you're going to call so they might be watching like pick a card readings and they'll be like yeah and the pick a card readings they'll be like this person's going to reach out to you soon and then every day they're just like no they're not you for me like they're not going to reach out to me so be that person reach out um let them know how you feel like men have this thing with like not wanting to let people know how they feel and it makes girls be in their head thinking like they that you guys don't really care for them and uh, you can like we can solve a lot of issues if you guys just express yourself more um but like they want to go away with you probably on like a vacation stuff like that because i see like we have paradise right so you are the happiness and joy they like being around you you should ask them to just like go out and like want errands with you even if you guys aren't really doing anything like they would they that would probably make them like really happy if you just um that um if you just wanted them to be around you because like that's kind of how we feel when you guys take us out on like when you ask us to just go run errands with you and such like that and just like be there with you um we're kind of like oh you're just like a company but then don't do that too often like sometimes you also have to like let them like take them out and such like that because if not then they're going to feel like oh you know you don't want to spend money with you don't want to spend money on me you just want to like you're just being cheap you feel me so it needs like a good balance um but yes yes boy yeah but like there can be such a quick sudden change in this relationship if you just express yourself like express yourself and like let them know how you're truly feeling and everything like that because like a lot of times girls just hide how they're feeling because they don't wedding I was gonna when I with paradise I was kind of gonna say how they want to go away with you like the thing about like honeymoons with you and everything like that and then wedding pops out when I did that like, um, retreat lol what am I saying like this person an engagement like I hope you guys feel the same way because they want like a committed relationship with you like they want um, at least your ex so I don't know if the other person is your ex but yeah they they kind of feel like you don't love them. And that you're more hung up on the ex than they like than you care about them. Um, but this part, like this relationship is supposed to like I'm not trying to scare y'all away, but like this relationship can most definitely end up in marriage and it'll be like a marriage that you guys are, will enjoy. Separation. So you guys are probably in separation right now. Um, or like they're thinking about like taking a break from you and going in separation because like they're in the head too much about this relationship and they don't know how you feel calling in your soulmate so this is a soulmate connection twin flame connection i did get twin flame connection when i said um power couple type vibes um finances and career lol and you got the citrine so yeah they want you to honeymoon lol i knew that shit was gonna come out and forgiving and learning so they're ready to forgive you for anything that happened in the past they really want to go like they want to move to the next stage with you guys okay so if you guys are thinking about marrying this person and like proposing to them i say do it they really want you to they probably dream about it and they dream about you proposing to them what it would be like so i don't know if you guys have been in a relationship for like a really long time and they're like okay i've been with you this long if you was going to marry me then you would marry me by now you know type shit so that's why they're going like that's why they think about going to separation um yeah so i if i would if i were you and you've been thinking about marrying next person and like proposing to them then i think you should buy that ring or if you already have the ring you know it's time to plan that vacation or like take her out to a nice restaurant or something and you know propose get on that one knee and it's time to hand her that whew, it's time to make that next commitment Dropping cards all over the place. Oh, well, and guess what's here? Your commitment is being tested. Your commitment is being tested. Yeah. I'm not going to take that though. But, um, that's literally what I was saying. Like, it's time for you, a time for healing. Oh, well. Yeah, so who, anything that's like stopping you from committing to her completely? How does this person feel about you? How does this person, how does your person feel about you? How does your person feel about you? How does your person feel about you? Ooh, 
wow that's a lot of cards and i'm pretty sure one of them cards is already the cards that came out show the world the, i'm gonna take all of them show the world the real you so like i've been saying this whole time let them know how you feel about them oh let me give you signs so we have oh no nah. we have aquarius libra taurus leo and cancer we also have fire with the wands so aries sag um aries sag leo um pentacles with um which is earth sign so taurus um capricorn virgo they most have cups we have a lot of cups um so that's pisces cancer and pisces cancer <laughs> and scorpio okay but heavy heavy libra aries um no heavy leo libra leo and cancer heavy cancer leo yeah heavy cancer and leo oh and aquarius because both of the aquarius cards came out and Tur taurus okay so Show the world the real you, so express your emotions, bring love into the situation, like I've been saying. Let them know how you feel, a win-win outcome is forecast. So, once you express your emotions for this person, like, it will play out the way that you want. Your dreams need a practical plan. So, I see that you've been wanting this as well. You've been wanting marriage and, like, the, to move up forward and your commitment and everything like that. But it needs a practical plan. Like, think about how you're going to do this. Like, don't just pull out a ring and be like, will you marry me if you plan on marrying her? <laughs> or if you, like asking her to be your girlfriend or whatever like plan out something make it nice like be like oh go get you like give her some money be like go get your nails done go get your hair done whatever yada yada like go get nice um i don't know let her buy a dress or something i don't know how much money you have and how much you're willing to spend or can't spend but like let her look nice or whatever a time for healing as at the bottom of the deck like let her look nice or whatever then be like yeah i'm gonna take you out be ready at this time take her out to like a nice place or take her away for like vacation or something Pop up the thing. Confidence is key to your success. Like, be confident. Know that she wants this too. Okay? Don't be scared. You and your loved ones are safe. So, things are going to work out the way that you want it to work out. Like, it's going to be the best possible outcome. So, don't be scared. Okay? Okay. So, we're going to, to do what attributes that they love about you. So, what attributes does this person love about you? What attributes? I think they like that you're a hustler and how smart you are um how you communicate and like your petites so i don't know if you're like one of the smaller person like girly and smile like i don't know if you're like a, a more like petite type of male um but they like that i know men tend to be like insecure like when they're small but um that's fine girly they like how feminine you make them feel um you make the like the feminine energy like exude when you like they're around you and they love your smile um nice they like how nice you are and there's also blonde so you might have blonde hair and they like that as well or if you used to have blonde hair they like um they like the blonde hair i'm thinking of like you're somebody who like wears a lot of hats and they wish that you would not wear hats all the time because for one hat fish but I don't think that you're a half fish. At least they don't think that you're a half fish. And they want to see, like, your face more. So, like, don't... They feel like you don't need to wear a hat all the time. Like, stop wearing a hat all the time. <laughs> they want to see you in your hair. Okay, serious. They like when you're serious. So, like, when you're working, um, they like to watch you work. They think, like, you're all boss and shit. And they like to see you, like, serious. Curvy and rosy. So, they like when they make you blush. <laughs> And, um, curvy. So I'm thinking, like, thick, but, like, in the male's version. So they, we have, like, two different, um, type of body types here. Or maybe, like, I'm thinking, like, muscles, like, big muscles. And they like your muscles. Okay, I'm gonna take one more of these. How does this, what does this person like about them? I'm gonna take this one and put these back um blonde hair oh well it actually came out <laughs> yeah they like your blonde hair um where's my other deck oh it fell so we are going to do what they would say to you what would this person say to them if they were talking or if they would if they could express themselves freely what would this person say to you um what would this person say to you 
as they can express so freely. You are amazing in bed. <laughs> so they think that you're amazing in bed. Um, and if you guys haven't had sex, they dream about it and they think that you will be amazing in bed. I love your body. So like I said, that makes sense, which is why we got two different physique, like body physiques. They really like your body. My life is better with you in it. So they think that you, like, especially like with the six of wands, once you came in their life, like they feel like it came, it became so much better. And like, you was like, you like your victory to them. I love your eyes and my heart will go on by Celine Dion. So you might want to watch that. Now, listen to that. Um, I'm getting Titanic vibes so like they think make a wish they think of you like how um that relationship was like like the love of their lives and somebody who they would never be able to forget i love your eyes they love your eyes they think like you have really deep eyes and make a wish with a bunch of 11 11s around there so look out for 11 11 um i prayed for you oh my gosh go watch pile number one <laughs> um my feelings for you scare me Okay, so this person um, really has feelings for you and it scares them because, again, they don't know how you feel about them. So they're like, am I being stupid or not? They pray for you all the time and they ask God for signs about how you feel and if you truly do feel the same way for them. Okay, so I'm going to pick, we're going to pick some songs that have messages from your person to you. So what songs have messages for us? Nothing on you, Titan. LOL. <laughs> um, Shot Clock by Vito. Um, no, I'm not going to take these. Oh, I do want to take this one though. Okay, we'll take both of them. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Okay, so we have Nothing By You featuring Bruno Mars by B.O.B. Okay, so we have Nothing On You um, featuring Bruno Mars by B.O.B. So that's basically um, about how, like, oh yeah, like, there might be a whole, like, I might be talking to, like, a bunch of people and stuff like that. But however, you're the person I want. These people have nothing on you. You don't need to be scared. Like, um, they might say hi and I might say hey. But you shouldn't worry about what they say. You feel me? Titan by um, Late Night. This is somebody who I met in, like, person. And I really like that song. So I added it to the pile. So it's basically saying how, like, people don't, like... I, like they've been through a lot and people don't really know like the shit that they went through so but people like to make assumptions so they're just gonna laugh so I think that goes into play with how their friends is telling her like oh like you ain't shit and like they should leave you and like forget about you and everything like that but she's like you don't understand like this all oh, like that like how they don't you, they don't understand the type of dynamic that you have and the relationship that you have and how like you make them feel and everything because um they don't they don't get it right shot clock is about how um this is shot clock by Vito so it's a remix of Ella May's shot clock and it's like um, it's about how she's a boss like the girl's a boss and she knows her worth and uh, she got money uh, she's like you, she got money you can see in her eyes with my phone because I really want to sing some words from that um music shot clock because i can't play it because um i'll get copyrighted but i can sing some for you um give me two seconds beautiful lyrics okay she says she ready for love she done with that bullshit she saying no putting up we heard the pulpit she ain't trying to play no games she think all niggas the same. I can't sing this song. <laughs> and if I'm, if you're not on that forever shit, you just stay in your lane. I'm wondering why, why, why. She ain't got the patience. She be like, bye, bye, bye. And I know she don't think twice. If there's something she don't like, she gonna let you know about it. She gave her all and that's a problem. Now nigga like me had to come and solve them. Oh, that was gonna say what I was saying about Titan. Right? So this is basically saying how, like, she's ready for, like, real love. And if you don't want forever, then leave her. Because she doesn't got time for that shit. She don't got time for games. And she's not sitting around waiting to figure out how you feel. Like, make it known how she feels. Um, if I want that pussy, I'm gonna have to bag that. Ain't no freebies. Yeah, she freaky, but you gotta pass test. She got money and shit funny. You can see it in her eyes. She said it's mine if I want it. I can own it. She hit a nigga with the shot clock. Okay, so, like I was that's why you picked the tree and there's a whole money fucking tree here. Um, 
she's like and also the, the seduction card came out so it all makes sense like she wants you you know she'd be thinking about what it's like to be in bed with you and everything like that but if you're not showing her that you care and like giving her the effort and like you know, the effort and the time and such, like, she's going to move on because she ain't got time to play. Then we also have A Whole New World from um, Aladdin. A whole new world, a new fantastic point of view. No lot to tell us no, or where to go, or say we're only dreaming. A whole new world, a dazzling place I never knew. But when the way you appear is crystal clear, and now I'm in a whole new world with you. You feel me? So like when she's with you, she feels like she's in a whole entirely different world. You probably introduce her to like a new world that like she's not used to, especially if you got money and she's like not somebody who has like money like that. She's like, yeah, you be even putting me on to like a whole new world and she loves the world that she's with and when she's with you. And then, like, she feels like, when she's with you, she feels like she escapes everything that's around her and it's just, like, you too. Okay, then we also have Afterglow by Ed Sheeran. I love this song. Okay, so this song is about how, um... This song, okay, so Stop the Clocks, it's amazing. You should see the way the light dances off your hair. A million colors of hazel, golden, and red. Saturday morning is fading. The sun's reflected by the coffee in your hand. My eyes are caught in your gaze all over again. We were love drunk, waiting on a miracle, trying to find ourselves in winter snow. So alone in love, like the world had disappeared, and I won't be silent, but I won't let go. Basically, the song is about, like, the morning after. Like, you'll hold on, like, I will hold on to the afterglow, right? So, like, basically, after y'all have sex and everything, like, the way that y'all glow and such like that, or, like, after you guys, you know, if you plan on proposing, after you propose, how, like, she'll glow... Um, from like the happiness or after you guys get in a relationship they'll glow after like they'll glow um they'll glow with the happiness and everything so that's like holding on to the uh, and it also says new dimension so that goes in with the whole new world like you guys when you guys come together it's going to be like you guys uh paradigm shift right the world will be completely different and it will be like a whole like so much better so that's all the messages I have from your person. This is how the person feels about you. To sum, sum it all up, they want a committed relationship with you and or marriage with you. Um, they really love you and they wish, they wish that you would express yourself and how you feel about them more. Um, teach, treat them, start treating them nice. Start taking them out. Um, plan a vacation with them. You know, do nice things for them because it will help them feel more loved and think that you're serious about um, the words that you say. If you've been saying words to them or whatever, they don't really believe it because actions speak louder than words and your actions have not been proving um, the words. You feel me? So start being nice to them <laughs> and like proving what you're saying to them. But um, that's all the messages I have. If you guys would like to purchase the Supreme bracelet or any other bracelets or any of the pyramids, you can find the link in my description box below for it. Or you can type in the like search engine um, Shayna Bella's World and you can find my website shaynabellasworld.com. You can find my website. Um, also, if you would like to book a personal reading so you can, we can go more in depth in this connection or any other question that you may have whether it's career or personal anything you can find that also on my website um shayna bella's world and you can book a personal reading with me we can either do it over video or we can do zoom so we can do like a live one um but yeah that's everything if this resonated with you make sure to leave a comment letting me know how it resonated also giving this video a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and press the bell to be notified whenever i upload and i'll see you in my next reading deuces